Suzanne Bridgeway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make an air fryer meatloaf. We're going to do the prepping for it, put it in the pan, let it marinate all day. Then around dinner time, we're going to walk you through how to put it into the air fryer and get it ready for dinner. In the meantime, around 2-ish, I'm going to throw some baked potatoes in the oven. We're going to serve it with possibly some mixed vegetables, canned green beans, peas or frozen of the corn. We haven't decided yet. It's up in the air. If you are new, thank you for dropping by and checking me out. We just got an air fryer a few weeks ago and we've been showing you air fryer recipes that are easy to do and really worth trying. Thank you to everyone who watches me every day and all the binge watching. We are almost over 30k views and that is so appreciated from 14,000 views. That is a big huge jump. And we're getting closer to a thousand subscribers. If we do, we're going to give out two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards. We're also going to give out a 15 inch bunny. He's about that big when we get 15 more subscribers. Please share me to your favorite social media sites. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Smash on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell. We are going to prep the meatloaf first before we wipe down the countertop. Then I'll do a final clean in the sink to make sure there's nothing in there so it's ready for lunch later today. I think my husband is going out to lunch. We are on the dinner prep of this. I'm going to put together the meatloaf. I'll let it sit in the fridge all day for the air fryer. I'm going to add black pepper first, two teaspoons. I'm reducing my spices according to the recipe that I found on Google. Two teaspoons of black pepper. Two teaspoons of garlic. I'm putting the spices in first. Then I'm going to add a quarter cup of breadcrumbs or panko, whatever you have. Stale bread. This is from the Dollar Tree. I'm a very big fan of it. It tastes really good. I always keep it in stock. Now they said one egg, but I'm going to continue on with my two eggs because I'm going to whisk it well. before I add the brown beef in. I am looking forward to doing this in the air fryer. I'm going to grab my whisk. I'm going to grab my fork here. I'm just going to beat the eggs. Then I'm going to add in a couple of teaspoons of onion soup mix. My husband is not a fan of real onion. I just got a great deal on onion soup mix at my BJ's, which is like a Costco's. You got a lot of it for little money, even with the coupon it had. That was my grocery haul over the weekend, and I'll link that in my description box down below. It's $112 BJ's Walmart haul. Prices has gone through the roof, and you should use coupons and sale prices as much as possible. I'm going to just break up the ground beef here. I'm going to give my hands a nice wash with soap and hot water and add some of the sauce. I'm not going to add a lot of sauce, just about a tablespoon. And you can make salsa with that so it doesn't go to waste. I'm going to mix it well. And I may add a little more panko just to make sure that the meatloaf is going to hold and stick. This is a little over a pound, the ground beef. It's 80% lean. We buy it at BJ's. We always buy beef, pork, and chicken bulk. Unless it's gifted to me. I'll be having a food pantry haul for February coming up. My last food pantry haul got almost a thousand views. Matter of fact, my food pantry hauls do very well. I'm not sure why, but I really appreciate it. I'll be filming that one tomorrow. 
replacing one of my dinner videos, probably the chicken spaghetti, and making that towards the end of the week. I plan five videos at a time. Just as I thought, I'm going to need a little more panko before we put it into the bread pan, which we're going to spray lightly, and it's going to marinate in the fridge all day. Panko and add some more on the top here. Two tablespoons. Eyeball it in. And then we're going to mix it in. There is a stove top meatloaf that you can do too, and you can add stove top stuffing. I tend to steer away from that one because when I do it, it doesn't stick and it falls apart. I've only had a few successful meatloafs in my lifetime, mostly from the crock pot. I don't oven bake them. If you were to oven bake them, you'd put them in a 350 degree oven until the beef is fully cooked all the way through. Use your thermometer. Go ahead and spray the pan here. And then we're going to put the beet loaf into the pan. It's going to marinate in the meatloaf pan until it's time to go into the air fryer. I'm going to leave it with some room in between the wall of the bread pan and the meatloaf by using my fingers going all the way around. And I spray it so it pops out easily for the air fryer. We're getting the air fryer preheated to put the meatloaf in it. We're going to be doing air fryer meatloaf. What is the temperature setting, honey? 350. I'm going to, it's going to be 25 minutes, but, oops, you want to preheat it for five. Three fifty for five minutes, and you cook for twenty five minutes. I'm gonna grab the meatloaf here and get it out of the pan and ready for the air fryer. It's been marinating all day. And if they say to take the basket when it beeps and spray it with your favorite butter spray, I'm gonna take this out. It's really cold again today, so I threw in a couple of baked potatoes because only an Isabel and I want a baked potato with the meatloaf tonight. And we're either gonna do some nibble corn or canned green beans or canned peas. We haven't decided yet. I'm going to take the meatloaf and I'm going to put it onto this plate here. I used a butter knife around the edges of the pan here with the meat so I can get it out. There it is came out in one piece, so it should hold well in the air fryer. And we're going to spray it with the pan first, not a sponsor, as soon as it beeps. And here's what the meatloaf looks like. It didn't even crack. It looks beautiful. Here's what it looks in the air fryer tray. It's got to cook for 25 minutes for 350 degrees. Just you know, my sink is not always empty, and my house is not always clean. Some behind the scenes here. I'm gonna wash up these dishes while this is cooking. And then we're gonna get the vegetables drained and rinsed. Always rinse your canned vegetables because they've been sitting in the can for a long time. And I like to rinse them for at least a minute or two. And I love the mixed vegetables because they have lima beans in them. And those are hard to find. I can't find plain bags of lima beans anywhere in the supermarket. Tell if your potato is done. The best way to do it is squeeze it. 
and it's done. Or if it's in the crock pot, you put a fork into potato, and if the fork goes all the way through, then that is done. According to the meat thermometer, it needs 10 more minutes. Always be safe with your foods and use a thermometer for accurate cooking. Here it is out of the air fryer basket, and it came out perfect without even any breaks or cracks. I'm so impressed with the air fryer making this meatloaf. If you want to, you can add a little sauce on the top. We do our sauce inside the meatloaf. I'll make sure everything you need to know how to make this meatloaf for the air fryer, including the temperature settings and how long, is in my description box down heated below. heated up some uh, gravy for the potato and meatloaf, and I have my vegetables off to the left there. And I'm going to eat my dinner. My husband's going to be here in a minute. My teen is here, and Jacqueline will not eat meatloaf. Her loss. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. I hope you enjoyed this air fryer meatloaf that was real easy to do. I love doing these air fryer videos so you know how simple it is to use it and maybe get one for yourself or if you do have one to use it more. And it's quick and easy and dinner is on the table faster. My views are up and we're almost to 2,000 watch time hours. We are almost over 30,000 views a day. Thank you so much for that. All the binge watching and your support really means a lot to me. We have a giveaway to announce. When we get to 1000 we're going to issue out two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards. We're also going to give away a bunny about 14 inches from the Dollar Tree. We need 15 subscribers for that. Any of my giveaways, you must be a U.S. resident. All the information is down below in the description box. Comment and comment often. Don't forget to share me to your favorite social media sites. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Smash on that subscribe board down below, tap on that bell.